man cave tour. Here we go. There's gonna be a quick walkthrough of my man cave. As you can see, uh, it is upstairs. That door goes to the attic, so nothing fun in there. This is a full bathroom. It's just a bathroom. Uh, we can see a Spurs poster. I used to be really into the Spurs uh, from about uh, 2005 to, I don't know, maybe 2016, somewhere in there. I kind of lost interest uh, after Timmy D and Manu and Tony all left. This is uh, downstairs. So you got some booze down there, some water. Uh, turning back around. I'll start from the left and then work my way around to the right. And then we'll finish up actually looking at the uh, computer and what I've got going on uh, kind of with that setup. Uh, here is a bookshelf uh, on the bottom, of course. I've got the boxes to, to some of my components. Please excuse the dust. Uh, I'll talk more about these later, but we can see I got a 2080 Ti, Core i9, 9900K, motherboard, and then uh, right there you can see the uh, uh, Vengeance Pro RGB uh, memory You're right there. Uh, okay, moving on, I got some knickknacks, uh, just kind of some achievements, some uh, awards, things, you know, that have some uh, sentimental value to me, some old DVDs that haven't watched in years and years, because who watches DVDs nowadays? Uh, up top, you can see I've got an RGB strip up there. Uh, some Slam Dunkinos. Then I've got uh, just some Spurs stuff, pictures, and some other little knickknacks. Uh, this, believe it or not, is one of the best parts to this room. This uh, little room up here does have its own AC unit, just dedicated to this one room, so I can crank it down if I really want to. Because uh, it does get hot up here. I live in Texas, so it's hot. Uh, there we can see I have a uh, just kind of a cheap couch. Don't ever really use that. Uh, a little beer fridge. A little uh, kind of like a little liquor cabinet thing. Uh, I've just got some glasses in there, and that's where I where I put booze and stuff uh, sometimes. Uh, then over here we've got uh, uh, just a little theater seating. Uh, I did not talk about the TV. That's just a, uh, a relatively inexpensive 65-inch uh, Samsung 4K TV. So nothing too special there. Uh, the nice ones downstairs. Uh, then I've got a little Google Home Mini, and then a Samsung sound bar. So it's actually a pretty good sound bar. It still sounds uh, pretty good, even though it's it's fairly old. Now over to the fun stuff. At least for me, it's the fun stuff. So uh, I do have a DX Racer gaming chair highly recommended i used to have a cushy standard office chair however uh the really plush stuff it tends to uh i don't know maybe the pleather maybe i just didn't get a good one but this seems a little a lot higher quality i've had this for a couple years and you can barely tell it's uh, it's even been used uh starting over here this dual monitor setup with i've got the logitech uh was it a g710 plus keyboard a really good keyboard had it for years still really like it uh this is my work setup just dual uh, Dell displays right there. Uh, I'll try to put uh, model numbers of all the stuff I have down in the description, uh, but dual setup um, for my work setup. So pardon some of the cable mess, but down here I've got the work laptop right there, just sitting on top of uh, this case right here, this PC case that is uh, uh, our home server. So it's just basically our NAS, but that is sitting uh, right there, work laptop on top of it, and then there you can see I've got the Bose 700 um, headphones. I really, really like those for work calls and travel and all that kind of stuff. And you can see right there I've got uh, just UPS. So all this stuff is connected to that UPS. Uh, it's a pretty good one. I really like it. I haven't had it too long. But uh, there you can see everything idling. The load is about two out of five bars. And then when I got everything, my gaming set, set up going, it's still got plenty of uh, headroom to power everything. Uh, moving over to the main setup, I do have a triple monitor setup. Uh, we can see I do have a uh, RGB strip behind there. Uh, it's nice. Uh, kind of illuminates blue in the back. Uh, I like it. It's got a cool feel. Uh, Corsair K95 RGB uh, Platinum, I believe is the name. The keyboard, really nice. I really like it. Um, I'm a big fan of these Logitech mice. I think it's the uh, G502. So I've got two of those 
you know, one for each my setup. Uh, and I've also got another one I carry around with me when I travel as well. Uh, but I'll put the model number to these uh, displays. They're all Dell. I work at Dell and I get a discount, so it makes sense. Um, but this main one is the, uh, it's a 27 inch um, uh, G-Sync, 144 hertz, one millisecond TN panel. So really good panel. It is uh, good. Uh, a little bit more. I've got uh, the Bose Companion. Uh, speakers, they're really good. I'm not an audiophile or anything like that, but they they put out decent uh, Well, I think it's pretty decent sound. So really like those uh, Let's see what else do I have here uh, Then in the sensor we do have my gaming PC really proud of this uh, A lot of money put in this but I do spend a lot of time uh, Using it but I got a 2080 Ti. It's the EVGA uh, For the win 3 edition uh, Corsair uh, H110i uh, all-in-one cooler and that's cooling the i9-9900K uh, 64 gigs of memory um, I do actually use all 64 gigs uh, I do some stuff for work on this so I do run some virtual machines and do things like that uh, so definitely use up a, a bunch of memory uh, for storage got an NVMe uh, you can't see it but it's uh, right there NVMe drive and then I've got some SSDs uh, in the back in a RAID 0 as well for additional storage uh, this case is the Fractal Define R6 I believe is the model number for it I uh, really like this case um, it's got a tempered glass side panel so it uh, you know it looks really nice it's not really coming through in the uh, camera very well Let's see if I can adjust the light but it does look really good in uh, person I do have the RGB fans. Those are also Corsair. Um, and it all syncs together through their IQ software, so really good. Uh, from a cable management standpoint, um, it's not the best, but I think it's okay. Um, I do have a USB hub. Uh, there is a lot going on back behind there. Uh, this desk is just a standard desk at Ikea. Uh, it does have built-in cable management. Um, so all the cables are kind of stuffed up there uh, and then I actually got a uh, like a fabric and just kind of stapled it I just cut it and stapled it to the top so you can't even I mean you just see black really of course you can see a little bit of the RGB coming through uh, then I got some shelves and you can't really see that I need to get some shelves just to store some stuff underneath the uh, the desk so uh, cable management not the best but definitely not the worst I do like that you can't really see anything directly underneath the desk um, for gaming uh, my headset um, see the HyperX uh, I believe cloud flight is a model number uh, really good the battery life is solid especially if you turn off um, the light there's different modes you can turn it on to where the lights are on all the time I think that's kind of dumb because they're on your head you can't even see them anyways um, but they last, uh, they say 30 hours. I've never timed it, but uh, good good headset. I actually got a deal on it. I didn't know I got such a good deal. I think they're usually like 130 bucks, uh, but I paid like 80, 89, something like that. Uh, so this is it. This is my man cave. Do spend a lot of time up here. Uh, I like it. I put a lot of thought and work into uh, setting this up, configuring it. Um, so let me know what you think. If you want me to do a, a review on anything or uh, talk about anything else in depth, you know, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching.